Do you know what we do for clubs? <laughs> <laughs> now you'll find out. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. So continuing on where we left off in the last video. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch it. It should be available somewhere. The link. Um, yeah. I'm sure you have some questions by now after hearing the club's introductions. So today we got four of the clubs with broader job scopes to share with us more. So without further ado, let's get to it. So in MLD, we have six departments. The first one is projects, where we do technical projects and deliver kind of really technical stuff to the companies or to the students. And we have academics, where we teach students about the AI learnings as well as like machine learnings, really technical stuff. And we have also the operations, which means we all do kind of like the back end things and from the GPU to the facilities as well as like the hardware in the club. We also have the business development, which means we do the B2B connections with other companies such as TikTok or uh, OCBC Bank. And we have the branding and the marketing where we made all the posters and send emails to the students. And lastly, we have the community where we connect all the dots and build a rapport within the entire club. And I think that's all for MLDA. Garage. Garage. Hi. Yes, garage. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a garage and we have six major portfolios, starting with business development. So similarly, we engage external companies to sponsor and support our work, as well as to engage our audience. Uh, we have branding and marketing to make us and keep us looking good online and uh, have a presence in the school. We have operations by department where we will be making sure the back end is going in order with all our equipment, keeping the maintenance and scheduled checkups so everything's up and running smoothly. We also have startups where we encourage students to uh, go on entrepreneurial opportunities to start their ideas and make them real businesses. Uh, we also have training and development so that internally all our students are well equipped with the skills and technical knowledge to go about their business. And lastly, we have welfare and outreach to make sure everyone's bonded and happy. Yeah. 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 Okay, so in Triple E Club, um, we have a total of six divisions. First one is Student Life. Student Life basically organizes our social, very vibrant events such as exam welfare, Triple E Week, inter school games. And then we also have Student Development. So the Student Development team um, organizes events catered towards the academic needs of the students, such as crash courses, industrial visits, and we also provide um, PYP solutions. Uh, apart from these two, we also have communications and business. So basically, communications publicize our events. Um, and we also have this ad hoc project within communications. It's called a podcast. So yeah, do um, take a look for uh, this one because it's going to be published soon. Uh, then the business committee uh, source for sponsorships and we have finance and operations so yeah I think it's self-explanatory finance uh, organize I mean handle the finances of our club and operations are the backbones of our club where they handle all the logistics and inventories okay so for outreach we reach out to prospective students to get them to join triple E or IEM and we, the portfolios that we have would be starting off with innovation outreach. So these, this committee would plan the visits and events for our club. Yes, and then we have welfare, which is self-explanatory. They will plan bonding and welfare to keep all the club members happy and bonded. And for branding and marketing, we do the publicity side of things where we promote our club and our school events to the rest of the school as well as to uh, pre-university schools so that they will know more about us and Triple E. And then lastly, we have training and competency where they will recruit and train ambassadors to reach out to students. Okay, we have, we have a freshman uh, orientation camp called INSHO. We have a competition called Isendo and we have another ideation competition called Ideas Jam. So these are our three biggest projects. We also have ad hoc project committees that engage students from uh, within school and abroad so that we engage the entire community. Mm, look, out, look out for these in your emails. Garage. 
First one is like the deep learning week, which is a really big hackathon happening every year in the school. And the second one is actually Learnova, which is a workshop, like a really long-term workshop for you to equip you with like really technical stuff. Uh, and the last one is actually the Insider Series, where we invite all of the industry experts to share their kind of like knowledge as well as like their experience using AI and ML. So yeah, maybe you can also find all of these things throughout your email. First one is Infinity, it's a freshman orientation camp. Yes. <laughs> we also have um, E3 Bash, uh, Bash. This one is the post orientation event, right? Mm. Yeah. The post orientation event is a DND event. Right, yeah. And then we also have Triple E OCIP. Yeah. Uh, for the past two years, they are, our Triple E OCIP team went to Vietnam to do. Um, community involvement projects, basically volunteering there in Vietnam. And we also have Ignite. Ignite is local community involvement project. So uh, this one is like volunteering uh, locally. Sometimes we invite students and then we do um, some workshops for them. Yeah. Well, that's all for Triple E Club. It's a lot. <laughs> so Triple E Club does take care of a lot of things. If you see past year paper solutions or yeah. 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 Life savers. Life savers. But how do you guys do visits? We do them in JCs, in polytechnics, and sometimes we host uh, overseas schools as well. So we'll bring them around NGU, and uh, we'll usually have professors talk to them as well to give them more insight on the school. And sometimes we'll go out to their school to give and like, let them know more about Let's say it's people studying a related major, mm. like electronic engineering, something like that. Or even those people that aren't studying related majors, but they might be interested in coming in to in, university. Enrolling. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If they have like even a slightest bit of interest. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I want to ask what was your usual day like? What, what do you do? Can you just like list out or name drop a few things? Mm, okay, so for our normal day, it looks really kind of peaceful, which means like every department is doing their things. I think the project people, they are discussing about their projects and the academy people are preparing for their workshops to the other students. And some people, they will just like discuss about MLDA, like ML and AI in the club because I think MLDA people are genuinely really passionate about the thing. So they really want to gather together and discuss about the technical stuff or technical trends. And also there are some other few students just like learning there using our space. And I think that's all like, it's really normal day, normal day. Yeah. Mm. So garage is a maker space. So every day you go there, you're going to see someone making something. And it's quite diverse, so there's a lot of students doing their own projects. Uh, maybe there's a design innovation project, like a module, final year projects, we have postgrads, we have even professors using our space sometimes. So there's always something going on and if you talk to people, it feels like quite an interesting community where we have so many technical skills. Uh, we handle 3D printers, so uh, we have people repairing them, using them. We have laser cutting if you want to design your own products. Uh, and we also have a lot of ongoing events, like there's never really a full lull moment because people try to make the most of our space mm. and uh, it's quite exciting to be around and see everyone uh, excited to do their projects. Mm. So like if I in garage then I want to like print a building like a small just like small building. Yes. I can? Yeah, yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, we support all students with their bright ideas. Mm -hmm. But we prioritize those who are doing like modules or businesses. Mm -hmm. But of course everyone's free to give a try. Speaking of which businesses, what about the startups? Because you mentioned startups, right? Yes, we have a startup portfolio and any student who's keen on making their ideas a business, we have a portfolio team dedicated to funding and training them so that they're prepared. We even collaborate with uh, the school, I need department and other offices to get them the funding and support they need. Right. Yeah. Okay. Take note. Mm. Oh. Yeah, Triple A Club. <laughs> I, think, I think Triple A Club is... Um, what is it? Is it, unlike, too, is it too diverse? Like yeah, the, and like we don't really have like uh, our own um, big space unlike MLDA and Grass. You guys have your own um, space for you guys to um, work on projects, right? Yeah, we don't really have that. Yeah, so I think the how is it? The day-to-day -day operations will be a bit different. Mm. It's not like 
every day there will always be something going on. It's more like um, whenever there is an upcoming event, then yeah, we plan for that event. So yeah. the, thought, the thought goes into event planning, would you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's event planning, uh, okay. meetings and all these. What about outreach? What's your day-to-day -day like? It's a bit hard to imagine actually. Yeah, because similar to Triple E Club, we don't have a physical like, maker space. So we'll have a meeting, something like this, and we'll discuss about, we'll go through, uh, in, during our meeting, we'll go through like an agenda. So each portfolio will discuss or like share with the rest of the club what they've done for the week. In, the, in our own time, like not during the meetings, in our own time, we'll discuss in smaller portfolios on what we have to do and then do them in our own time mm. so that it's more efficient that way. So in general, what kind of people are you looking for? I think people with passion and a can-do attitude because I think MLD is really an interest club instead of like a operations or kind of like school. School club. So basically, I think you need to be really passionate about ML and DA to make sure you can actually be happy inside of the club. Because because otherwise, like people are too technical, and when they talk about all the AI models, um, it will be a little bit hard for you to catch up. But if you really want to learn the thing, you have a can-do attitude, then definitely you can also learn from the students, and you can become an AI expert maybe within two years. But basically, you need to be passionate about the kind of like really specific technical things, yeah. Mm. Okay, so uh, similar to MLDA, we are a very technical club, but we are looking for students who are keen to try everything engineering related. So like I said, we do a lot of manufacturing and uh, uh, maker related projects, but we also do software, we also do electronics. So if you're curious on how all these go together uh, at a professional level possibly, because we do training as well, uh, there's a lot of opportunities for students in Garage to do that. Even if you don't have a project of your own, we have plenty of things you can hop into and you're sure to pick up something along the way. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think for Triple E Club, we are looking for people who are really passionate about um, serving the Triple E and IEM community. Mm. And even if you just want to come to um, learn an experience and build up on your what is it, like soft skills, yeah, we are very welcome. Um, because our club hosts a lot of events, right? So when we host events, you really need to um, think about the point of view of the students. Like, what do they actually want, you know? Um, so beyond, yeah, beyond... Someone the, with empathy. Mm, yeah, yeah, true, true. Mm. You know, beyond the ACADs, like, what do they need? Um, maybe they need some, um, some games or, like, some events that, you know, they can just release their stress or maybe they even like need help in the ACADs and that's why we provide press courses mm. and yeah, so I think if you, with this passion to help the Triple E IM community, right, your hard work will surely benefit the uh, the students lah, yeah. Yeah. So for our outreach, we are looking more for people who are outgoing, friendly and willing to meet new people. We're also looking for people who are willing to find new ways to do things so they're not set in. Like, oh, just because someone told you to do something this way, we have to do it this way. Traditional person. Yeah, we're looking for people who can like, think out, out of the, of the box. box. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we're looking for innovative people. Mm. Yes, and for people who are adaptable to different situations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have to be an extrovert? Oh, oh, no, you don't have to be an extrovert. I myself am an introvert at heart, but uh, I think as long as you're willing to step beyond your comfort zone, Put yourself up there. Yeah. Be open to try new experiences and to just bring with people. Mm -hmm. so you don't have to be an extrovert. Right, that's fun. So, I think, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you can't decide, nobody said you can only join one club. True. <laughs> so, look out for the emails and how do you sign up? Uh, we'll have a form coming out when yeah. we are yeah. ready. Same, same here. Yeah. yeah. So, look out for the sign up form and oh, yeah. join. Don't look out on our Instagram account. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. There's also yeah. quite, quite a lot of Instagram things coming up. So, I'll drop the Instagrams somewhere here, I think. Like <laughs> here, <laughs> go and follow them. They are pretty cool, 
and the official NTU Triple E Instagram is NTU underscore E E E Engineering. <laughs> it's E E Engineering. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's here. here. Yeah. Here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Follow us here, there, and there. Also come here and don't do this. Don't do what? <laughs> don't do what? <laughs> you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Watch this space, watch our YouTube. Watch Click here stuff. for more, click here to subscribe. Oh. <laughs> subscribe for more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So I understand really or not? Oh, was it okay? Was it informative? Is it good? We hope the information is not too bombarding for you. Yeah, but, but at least it answers some of your questions, hopefully. And if you want to learn more, then just go and approach one of the seniors or open up the socials, click a link, open up the emails, click the link, same thing. Yeah. Don't forget, we still got five more clubs. There are nine. Nine total. Total nine, nine clubs in Triple E. Yeah, and we hope you can find one club that suits you. And okay, that's all. Yeah. See all right. You.